Hello everybody and welcome to a short tutorial slash guide on how to remove Discord audio or any other type of audio source from your streams. And the main reason why I'm making this is because a bunch of folks in the Rocket League community, um, you know, pros especially, have been streaming games from scrims, the field, or other tournaments and they want to get rid of their, of their comms. But they don't know how to just get rid of Discord audio, and so what they end up doing is just get rid of it, rid of all their sounds completely, um, which isn't too big of an inconvenience. I think a lot of people are finding watching it that way. Um, but th what this method does is basically allows them to only get rid of the Discord audio and keep music and game audio playing out to the stream. And so this guy will show you how to do exactly that. So to start with, we're going to need to get what's called a virtual audio cable driver. Um, and we will need to go to this website for that. I will leave a link to this in the description. And uh, if you don't know what a virtual audio cable is, just Google it. I'll not bother explaining what it does. You'll figure out roughly what it does as we progress through this. And the thing you'll need to download is this thing right here, the VV cable driver pack. Uh, you'll not need any other uh, of this rubbish here. Just click the download link here to download that. It will be a zip file and once that's downloaded you'll need to extract it and what you should get is a folder looking like this and when you open it you have all these files within it. Now what you'll need to do is to run the installation and so you'll need the VB cable setup to do that and um, you just simply need to run that through until it's completed and once it's done you'll need to restart your PC for the installation to fully complete. And so at that point you'll now have the driver itself fully installed and ready to be set up. So to set up you'll need to go into our Windows settings here and what you need to do is just click on the system, sound and then go into the sound control panel. And so within here we're just going to have to set a couple of things up. You'll need to first off make sure that the cable input is selected as your default device now. Um, now don't panic if you end up losing sound from this, we will fix that uh, in the next step. What you need to go now do is click on the recording tab, uh, go away bit defender, and then what you'll need to do is find the cable output. Uh, double click on that and then go into the listen tab and you want to check the listen to this device box and then play back to this device you want to select um, you know, your headset or your speakers, so in my case it's speakers, field tech, high definition audio, it will may or may not be different for you, but basically select um, whatever you use to listen to your sounds and then you should have your sounds back. Now if you do want to adjust the volume in the future, you can just do them here through, uh, not in this bit, uh, if we go back to playback and then uh, wherever I put mine, here we go, so this is by speakers, you can change the audio levels here if need be. And so now that's it set up so you can hear everything and so what we'll now do is set it up with an OBS. So I'm going to open up my OBS here and if I go into my settings and the audio and then desktop audio I'm now selected as cable input. And so all my audio will be going through the virtual audio cable now. Which begs the question, now how do we go around getting rid of the Discord audio. It's a pretty simple way to do that. All you have to do really um, is that within Discord, um, if you go into your settings and voice and video, um, your output device will normally select it as your speakers. Currently it's selected as uh, cable input again, but if I wanted to have it so it will only go through my headphones and only I can hear it and not my stream, what I would instead do is select my speakers. Um, which is my headset and so what this basically does is cut it off essentially and this can also be achieved with other applications like Spotify if there is no option to change the input device in any uh, in the application itself you can get around this by going back to the sounds tab and if you go into app volume device preferences uh, you can adjust the uh, output and input here um, this is the sounds I want to for Spotify for example click here I can select whatever device and I just do the same thing. What it will do is it will, um, my music will only play to me and not my stream. And so that's effectively how you do it. It is uh, fairly simple. Uh, of course you should be able to test it yourselves using the audio levels within here and that will basically tell you if it is working or not. But that is everything for this tutorial. 
Um, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I do hope this helped. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I would be more than happy to help you. Uh, and yeah, that is everything for this video. Thanks again and see you all again next time. Bye-bye.